Salesforce is the world's number one customer relationship management platform and it's used by many Fortune 500 companies. They help businesses grow by helping them understand their customer needs better. Now, Salesforce report and dashboards provide you with a visual representation of the sales analytics and give access to key business data insights, which helps in making better decisions. But before we get into any more details about reports and dashboard, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. Firstly, we will understand what is Salesforce then we will conclude our session with a demo part where we will work on report and dashboards in the Salesforce platform. Now moving on to our first topic, what is Salesforce? Well, Salesforce is a cloud-based software company which provides a customer relationship management service. Now customer relationship management means a strategy or technique which businesses use to administer its interaction with their customers. CRM system allows organizations to manage the customer relationship and interaction through a single tool which provides a better customer experience and improves business outcomes. Initially, Salesforce started as a software as a service CRM company, and now it provides various software solution and a platform for users and developers to develop and distribute custom software. Now, Salesforce services allow businesses to use cloud technology to better connect with the customers, partners, and potential customers. It offers a variety of products for customers such as Salesforce Sales Cloud, Marketing Cloud, Service Cloud, Community Cloud, Analytic Cloud, App Cloud, and a few other services. Now, each of the service has its own functionalities and can be used by different teams in a company. Like the sales team can use the sales cloud, marketing cloud can be used by the marketing team, the support team can use the service cloud, and so on. So in today's session, we're going to talk about reports and dashboard of the sales cloud. Now, let us understand what exactly is reports. A report is a list of records that meet the criteria you define. Now, let us understand this with an example. Now, let's say, for example, I have a training institute which offers a variety of courses like Java, machine learning, Python, cloud computing, and many more. Now, to keep track of my courses which have been sold, my customer details, I'm going to use Salesforce. Now, I want to know which of the courses is the highest selling course. So, for this, I can use Salesforce report which will give me a set of records that contains all the information about the courses and which customer is buying what. So with Salesforce report, I can see which of my course is the highest selling course. Now reports are displayed in Salesforce in rows and columns and can be filtered according to a particular object. Let's say I just want to see the people who have registered for Java courses. So I'll just filter the data and find out which all people have opted for the Java course. Also with Salesforce report, we can group the data together and also display them in the form of graphical chart. A company or an organization can use reports to track progress towards its various goals. It could be controlling expenditure, increasing revenue, or any other business goals. Reports also help in predicting trends, such as which project is selling the most, which customer is buying the projects regularly, and many more. All this is an advantage of increasing your profit. In Salesforce, you can create reports in very short time and also schedule the reports. Salesforce provides a powerful suite of analytics tool to help you organize, view, and analyze your data. You can generate reports in various styles. Now let us understand what are the type of reports we can create. But before that, let us understand what is a report type. Now a report type is like a template which makes reporting easier. The report type determines which fields and records are available for use while creating a report. Reports display only records that meet the criteria defined in the report type. Salesforce provide a predefined standard report type such as summary, tabular, mixed, and joint. Now you can also create a custom report type. For example, an administrator can create a report type that shows only job application that have an associated resume. Application without resume won't be shown in the report. So now I guess you have some idea about what exactly is report type. So let us see the types of report that are provided by Salesforce. First is the tabular report. Now tabular reports are the basic and simplest of any Salesforce report. They just display the rows of data in a table with the grand total. You can use tabular reports when you want a simple list or a list of items with a grand total. For example, you want to see the list of contacts or the list of leads based on a particular criteria, you can use a tabular report. Also, this type of reports cannot be used to create groups of data or charts and cannot be used to create dashboards. The next report type is summary report. Now, this type of reports in Salesforce are the most commonly used reports. They provide a listing of data with grouping and subtotals. With summary reports, you can group data based on different criteria and then perform calculation to find out the total, maximum, minimums, and the average. These reports will help you analyze your data better and can be used when you want to create a hierarchically grouped report. 
the test sales organized by the year and then by the quarter. The next report type is matrix report. Now this type of records is a bit complicated. They allow you to group records both by rows and by columns. You can use matrix reports when you want to see data in two different dimensions that aren't related. For example, the date and the product which has been sold. Now these reports can be used to create dashboards. Moving on to the final report type, which is the joint report. The joint report can be used to group and show data from multiple report types in different views. The data in joint reports are organized in blocks. Now each block can have its own unique column, summary fields, formulas, filters, and sorting order. You can use this type of records to build a report to show opportunities, leads, and activity data for your accounts. These were the types of report provided by Salesforce. Now each report in Salesforce is stored in a folder. A user who creates a folder can control who has access to the contents of the folder. It can be based on roles, permissions, or any other criteria. They can make the folder public, which will be available to the entire organization, or make it private so only the owner can have access to the folder. Now each user has its own level of access to a report folder. There are three types of access level to a folder. First is the viewer access level. The user in this access level can only view the data in the report and cannot make any changes except cloning it into a new report. Next, we have the editor access level. Now the user with this access level determines what data is shown in the report. They can view and modify the data in the report and can also move them from one folder to another. The third access level is the manager access level. The user who creates a folder is usually the manager. They control other users access level to the folder. The manager can do everything the viewer and editor can do, but in addition, the manager can also control which user gets what access to the folder. Also, user with the manager access level can delete the report. Now, this was about report. I guess now you have some idea about reports in Salesforce. Now, let us move on to the next topic and see what are dashboards in Salesforce. Basically, dashboard is a graphical representation of the data generated by a report or multiple reports. It shows data from source reports as visual components. These components give a snapshot of key metrics and performance indicator of the organization. Now for each dashboard component, there is a single underlying report. However, you can use the same report in multiple dashboard components on a single dashboard. Now multiple dashboard components can be shown together on a single dashboard page layout, which makes viewing the report more interesting than viewing them in rows and columns. Now as I've talked about dashboard components so many times, let us understand what are they. So there are five types of dashboard components in Salesforce. The first one is charts. Now in charts, there are six types of charts you can choose from. The horizontal chart, the vertical bar chart, the line chart, pie chart, donut chart, and the funnel chart. Now viewing your data in a pictorial format is more visually pleasing and interactive than just viewing the data in rows and columns. Second is a gauze. You can use a gauze when you have a single value that you want to show within a range of custom values. For example, if you want to show the number of courses which were sold in a month, whether it was higher than the other month or was it lesser than the other month, you can show it with the help of gauze. Third is metrics. Now you can use a metrics when you have one value to display. For example, if you have a report showing the total number of courses sold or it's expected to be sold in the current month, you can just name the value as courses selling target for the month and display it on the dashboard. The next Salesforce dashboard component is table. You can use a table to show a set of report data in column form. You can use colors and scale to help users interpret the report data the table displays. Now an example for using table would be, now if I want to see the top five selling courses of all time, I can use table for that. Fifth Salesforce dashboard component is a visual force page. You can use the visual force page when you want to create a custom component or show information not available in another component type. Like reports, dashboard are stored in folders which control who has access to them. Now only if a user has access to the folder, they can view its dashboard. However, to view the dashboard components, they need access to the underlying reports as well. Now each dashboard has a running user. The security setting determines which data to be displayed on a dashboard. Now if the running user is a specific user, all dashboard viewers see data based on the security setting of the specified user, regardless of their own personal security settings. For example, if you set the sales manager as a running user for the leaderboard for his or her team, this will allow the team members to view the leaderboard for the individual team, but not the other teams. Now this was about dashboards in Salesforce. Let us move on to the next topic and see some of the benefits of reports and dashboards in Salesforce. The first benefit is you have visibility into data. Report and dashboards gives you easy access to key data insights, 
which helps in making better decisions. It provides you real-time statistics of a company's information in very less time. The next advantage is it saves money and time. With Salesforce report and dashboard, you don't have to manually search for a particular field or entry. You can just search or filter the records based on the object you're looking for. According to a study, 4,000 Salesforce customers reported that they reduced the amount of time they spent making reports by 52% using Salesforce. Also, since they were paying someone to create those reports, they probably reduced their budgets as well. The next advantage is flexibility. With reports and dashboards, you can pull data from all your standard and custom objects and field. It provides many powerful options for tailoring reports and dashboard to a specific need of your end users. Now, these were some of the benefits of report and dashboards in Salesforce. Now, let us move on to our next topic, which is the demo part. So for our demo, I've signed in into the Salesforce console. So Salesforce offers all its new customer with 90 days of free trial of the sales cloud. So if you want to learn how to use the sales cloud within this 90 days, you can just go ahead and create one account. Now it is very simple to create a Salesforce free trial account. It will ask you for a few information such as your name, your job title, company's name, phone number and email ID. Once you give all this information, you can just start your free trial. So for a demo, first we're going to import a sales data from our document and then use the data to create a report and then prepare a dashboard for those reports. So for people who are new to Salesforce, this is what the Salesforce console would look like. It will have the performance here, assistant, task, events, and contacts. If you want, you can also change the entire interface over here. And you can see there are a few options here such as accounts, contacts, leads, opportunities, tasks, calendar, dashboards. We will talk about them one by one now. So we'll just start with leads. Leads store customer information who are interested in your product. Let's say some customer inquired about your particular product. Now he would become a possible lead. Next, accounts. Accounts has a list of all the companies that your customers are working for. The contact tab will contain information about your customer. We'll just go to all contacts over here. Here you can see we have some of the sample data. You can see the name of the customer. Then we have the account name, which means which company is he working for? What is his job title, his phone number, email, and its owner name? Next, account will have a list of companies that your customers are working for. We go to my accounts. Now these three companies employees are your contacts. Next, opportunities are past or pending sales for an account that you want to work on or track. Here you can see what are the stages of that opportunities. Whether you have closed the opportunity successfully or you've lost it or does it need any analysis and so on. Now task is the daily activities of a salesperson. So when I go to open task, you can see a few of the sample tasks over here, such as discuss partnership opportunities, follow up on a particular customer and so on. Next is calendar. Now calendar can be used to create an event. For example, a customer wants to close a deal on a particular day. So instead of writing it down somewhere, you can just create an event and you'll be notified about the meeting before itself. Now we're going to talk about reports and dashboard in details now. Now notes are nothing but while talking to a customer, if you want to write down something, you can just write it over here. Now coming back to a demo, the first step is to import sales data into leads. So we'll just go to leads. When you go to my leads, you can see a few of sample leads which are already here. We can also use the sample leads for our demo, but I'm still going to import sales data to my leads. So click on imports over here. Select leads. I'm going to add new records. We can also update existing record or add new and update existing record both. So go to add new records. Now I'll just drag my file over here and click on next. Now one very important point to remember here is whenever you're importing any data, you should always have name, company's name, lead status object in your file. Then we'll click on next over here and we'll start the import. So you'll get a message saying, congratulations, your import has started. Now after I click OK, it will redirect me to the lead console. So when I click on all leads, you can see my leads have started appearing. I had around 163 sales data samples in my file. So there are a total of 168 leads. 162 are the data sample leads which I had imported and six are the default samples which are already available. Now let us create a report with this data. So we'll just go to reports and select new reports. Now you can see there are sample reports which are already available, but we're going to create our own new report. So we'll just select new reports. You have to choose a report type. So it's in leads. 
we'll just select leads and we'll continue now to preview only a limited number of records but after you run it you can see everything so we can group our rows from here and we can select any column which we want a report to display i can also remove the column which i don't want my report to display now let's say i don't want title because it's only present for six data samples so i'll just remove title from here you can also filter your reports according to your convenience now let us group our rows based on lead status so we'll just select lead status from here now you can see the records are grouped according to the lead status we have three in new two working one nurturing and 13 in shipped now this is only the preview but in report we can see many more under shipped now in report you can also add charts so if you just click on add charts over here now you can see the number of new lead status the working lead status nurturing shipped now this report actually contains two different types of data as there were sample leads before I imported even those are present here from the data set I had imported the status were only shipped and on hold now if you want you can also change the type of charts you can just click on the setting button over here and you know you can show it in donut format in funnel line so to see this properly we're going to create dashboards so I'll just go to dashboards over here now first we have to save this so we'll just save it we'll name it demo report and the folder let it be the same folder now if you want to add any description about your report you can also add it here but now I'll just let it be and just save this now let us create our dashboards so click on dashboards over here we'll have some of the sample dashboards over here if you want you can just go click on this and see how is the dashboard now if you want you can just click on any dashboard and see how it is so now let us create our dashboard so we'll just go to dashboard select new dashboard so we'll name our dashboard demo dashboard if you want to describe your dashboard you can describe it over here now you can select any folder from here if you want you can also create a new folder but I'll just let it be in the private dashboard folder and I'll just create it now a dashboard has been created now we have to add components to it now as I've told you before there are five components in Salesforce dashboard which are charts, gauze, metrics, table and visual force page so we can select any one from those options so we'll just go to add components you must have a report to create a dashboard and use the dashboard components now we'll just select the report now here if you want you can select any type of dashboard components you can go for horizontal bar chart or you can go for vertical bar chart so we'll add few of these charts to our dashboard now we'll add a horizontal bar chart now you can see the lead status over here there were three new two working one nurturing lead status in the lead data and from the sales data which I had imported there were 148 shipped six on hold four in progress and four cancelled now I'll also add few more dashboard components so I'll select the report I'll add the donut chart so I'll just add it here you can see our donut chart with the values I'll also add funnel chart I will also add the funnel chart now if you want I can move this over here I can add any of these dashboard components as well now it is up to you which dashboard components you want to add we'll just add one more component we'll just add the line chart and here is the line chart we'll just move it to the top and we'll save the dashboard now you see it is very easy to create reports and dashboard in Salesforce it is also very visually pleasing and interactive. And with this, we have come to the end of our session. I hope it was helpful. Happy learning.